sperm too. So 4AM are only one man remaining. That compound crash did not work out. Meanwhile, Paraboy with a double nade onto Synergy E. Paraboy now with three confirmed kills and he's looking for his fourth. That leaves Synergy with just the one player remaining as well as XQF start to put the pressure on here. Moving through the smokes, they've got the vehicles in hand, trying to find some more kills. They're actually split between the last players remaining of Synergy. One knocked, uneven taking some pressure as well here from XQF as now the damage is starting to kick off for them. Cloud9 will lose another player, or at least get one more knock, not confirmed just yet. But our Chinese teams here putting in some serious work in the late stages of this circle. So many teams with so many players That's left, but cover's still going. And yeah, Paraboy once again popping off. Yeah, he's popping off. Next to your SR tearing through Synergy, and that will be them gone. But team that's been sleep, where we've been sleeping on, is Yudu Gank are up to 11 points off kills alone. That is a lot of kill points to claim in their first game. Good showing. Beowulf on the flank, though. He's managed to find XQF slipping a little bit. He's managed to get one knock. Try to get another knock from the grave. Cool boy on the deck. Paraboy up still, and he's the danger man. He's got uneven in his sights, and he's put him down. So that early exchange of words, uneven, calling him out in the interview, and he got his wish. He got a, a duel with Paraboy, but he ended up losing it. Beowulf stuck behind a tree. That's not where you really want to be at the moment. Paraboy is on the charge. I heard great things about Paraboy, the legend of Paraboy. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to be this. ...of three who currently stand outside the zone two. XQF have dropped their backpacks. They're starting to snake, and they've, they've managed to find Mega. They're trying to get a little bit of a surround here, I imagine, as Auto will be calling out where exactly these Mega guys are. And he might go for the spray early. Mega just get behind that car ponds. Drops to the deck immediately as he senses danger. The snake has been given up essentially. It's Auto! Oh. Online actually finds him. Heat seeking missile almost comes out. That's going to be difficult to revive as well. Auto might be down for good here. It looks like at the moment he's taking a little bit of fire. It's going to be a hard one to revive. I don't think he will. He'll try and crawl over to Paraboy, but I'll be very surprised if he's managed to get him up. C9, of course, over here on the left as well, are looking oh, towards this fight too. Jimmy going for a very risky run there, but did have the smoke behind him to give himself that bit of cover, and he will stay alive. Paraboy getting the res of the order. This will get XQF back up to three strong, just barely. As you do you do gank go out as well, but 12 points for them. That is a good way to start. Double digits on the kills is always where you want to be. Strong start from you do as the nades start to ring out onto Mega. They are in a bit of a sticky situation. Chica goes down to the zone. But Mega, they are getting shelled by nades. Paraboy collects another one. He's got three nade kills so far if that one gets confirmed out. Another oh. nade from Paraboy. That's the fourth nade kill of the round. Online, the last remaining from Mega. He's going to get spotted out. No, he manages to get the knock onto Paraboy. But an easy trade for order rings the defeat of Mega. And XQF continue to roll on. Paraboy should be able to get picked up here if they're quick on the buzzer. Now we are into our top four. Eight players remaining and Uneven's been spotted. This could be the end of Tempo Storm. They're down to one player as Uneven. Will be confirmed down by Moxon. Just drops his box. Cloud9. They were in a bit of a dominant position, but now with only, well, two players up and zero kills to their name, they're going to be struggling for points as Pyra goes down too. That's a straight up confirm. It's Paraboy again who's popping off here. So much damage done by him. Seven eliminations this game alone. Very, very hot start for him and for his team. Currently sitting on 10 kills in total. One player remaining for each of the remaining teams. DKG, Tempo Storm, Cloud9, all with one. XQF in the driver's seat with three. It's been a very, very good start for them. They are now looking to close it. And we are down to this final shrink as well. No more safe spots. Eventually, the zone is going to start to move, and it will not stop moving until we have our winner. At the moment, XQF oh sits no. in a pretty damn good spot. Moxon's been taken out, so now we have three. It is two NA teams versus the China, or the Chinese hope of XQF. Beowulf's been spotted and taken out now, so it is just Nico from Tempo Storm alive versus the might of XQF and Jimmy Paraboy in order. They're going to. They're going to feel confident going into this versus the Solo Snake. Nico not even on full HP. Should be an easy cleanup and an easy victory for the side of XQF. They are going to take it quite slowly, meticulously clear out every angle, work their way forward with the Snakes. You can see the crowd popping off in the picture-in-picture. Picture. They are very happy to start the tournament in this fashion. Very happy indeed. It's just one from Tempo Storm who stands between them and victory. It's Nico here.
hiding in a bush, doing his best. Paraboy behind the bush, using his third person camera angle to try and spot out this last remaining player. His two teammates, snaking, looking oh, to spot him out. They've found him as well, Nico. There's nothing he can do. It's XQF. One of the hometown teams will stand up with game number one for themselves. 12 kills, I believe. 13, actually, with that last one. Yeah, 13 kills, plus the 16 placements. That will bring them 29, and that's a fantastic way to start off.